It is snowing here in Texas, or it has snowed. And we never get this much snow out here, and it's actually really scary because our lights went out and we don't know what to do. So Michael is transferring all the stuff from the refrigerator to the freezer, and we're gonna go out, maybe get some pictures, <laughs> and then come right back in because it's cold. Oh my God. Oh, he threw snow at me. Your feet are gonna get wet. No, I put them up. Let me get you some rain boots. Wow, this is actual snow. So I have rain boots on, so you can see. And it's like we're in Colorado. Like, what? Oh, babe, Mila's trying to get out. Mila just busted out of the house. Mila. Pee -pee. So we have not had power since 6 a.m. in the morning, okay? We have not had power for almost 12 hours now. It's 5.41 p.m. It's about to get dark. We don't have hot water. We don't even have water. Let me just say that. It's not that we don't have hot water. We don't have water. The whole world has shut down here in Texas and we don't know what to do. We don't know when our power is going to be on. We don't know when we're going to have hot water again. We don't know. We've been eating junk food for the last no 12 hours. No restaurants are open. No gas grocery stations. stores. No gas stations. All I need is for us to have electricity again. And I'll be fine. That's all I need. Like, all I need is electricity. And I'll be so happy. We can watch movies. It's 7 o'clock and we still have no power. We still have no electricity we really haven't eaten real food all day i've been snacking all day and we have some bread here so i'm gonna make myself a peanut butter sandwich mila we're probably going to watch a movie we charge the ipad and we have a movie saved on there harry potter which makes me so happy because i love harry potter and then we're gonna go to sleep <sighs> and other news look at the roses michael got me and they're in such a pretty vase. Gorgeous for Valentine's Day. They have roses and lilies and all of that good stuff. Thank you, baby. Although we had bad weather, he still got me some flowers. So it is the next day, day two. We still have no power. Making myself some breakfast. <laughs> Late in the week, snowstorm edition. like Oscar Mayer's adult Lunchables basically so you can get some protein in this is what it looks like it's just like turkey cheese and crackers turkey cheese and crackers what's wrong baby what's bothering you nothing can you give me a kiss nothing bothering you <laughs> yeah, I gotcha We are day three without power. This is really frustrating. Um, <clears throat> just trying to stay positive through all of this. I'm really cold right now. We were just, we just went out to find some warm food. We got some Jersey mics, which was amazing. God bless the people who are working right now. I'm trying to stay warm, I have a sweatshirt on and I'm about to get under the covers to get myself 
warmed up. My feet are so cold. I have two pairs of socks on, two pairs of fuzzy socks at that. My battery is at 65% and I don't think I'm gonna charge it again tonight. So I'm gonna try to conserve that as much as possible before tomorrow. I'm really hoping we wake up with electricity tomorrow. Honestly, feels like we're in a movie. Like it feels like we are in a psychological thriller. <laughs> That's the best way for me to explain this. Guys, you see that? We have light. We're trying to get this place heated for tonight. We still don't have water, but at least we're not gonna go another night freezing in this apartment. I am just so thankful, so grateful. I was starting to lose hope there, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like God tested us so much in the last three days and right when I was about to lose faith and like right when I was about to just like I get so discouraged the lights came back on so I feel so happy now I'm trying to preserve as much energy as possible but I will see you guys in the morning it is day four we still don't have water but we still do have power which is amazing we we're out for two hours looking for food we got in a water burger line as soon as we got like close to the entrance they closed so we sat in that line for probably an hour and we didn't even make the cut but then we drove around and we saw that Domino's was open and there was a quick order and a quick pickup thank you so much Domino's and Vita for being open and for working quickly like they worked so fast let's get into this because I'm so happy we just got pepperoni y'all know I love me some pizza it makes me so happy to have some more I'm gonna get one more slice for tonight and be done because I don't want to overeat. I'll see you guys in the morning. So it is finally day seven and we are on the up and up, okay? We have water now. This is the craziest week of my life. Traumatizing to say the least, but we got through it. Michael and I took very good care of each other and you know, we kept each other sane, we kept each other positive through it all. Um, I didn't even show you guys the half of it. We had some crazy moments. The fire alarm went off at four o'clock in the morning on Wednesday and we had to, you know, jump out of bed and go out into the cold and we were already cold in here and we had to run outside into the cold. It was like icing, rain, it was horrible. It was so horrible. We had to grab Mila and take her to the car with us and then we came back in and went to bed at like 7 a.m. It's been a traumatizing couple of days, but I'm so glad it's over. Thank you so much for everyone who's like checked in on us, all of our friends who helped us out during this time, all of our friends who helped us like shower and like got us food and just made sure that we were okay. It's, we really do appreciate it. And we're moving into normalcy now. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. And I will be moving into my normal content. <laughs> moving forward now that I have power and all that good stuff so I will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your prayers and yeah peace out Girl Scout